blood and sweat. So I hope you all like the film. It will be a fun entertainer for sure for this Pongal. What are the difficulty, difficulties to act like a superhero? Why do you choose this movie? Uh, there are no difficulties to act like a superhero. Only thing is, uh, the action sequences were very difficult. When you're a superhero, you shouldn't feel anything difficult, right? So, <laughs> it wasn't difficult at all. It was all very fun. It was very difficult uh, in, in the action sequences, but we never felt it that way because we, we love our job and uh, very passionately we have done this film. We have given our 100%. So, it was all a smooth ride until here. Hi sir. So, what is the biggest fear that you overcome after uh, completing the Hanuman? Because superhero genre, it's one of the most difficult genre to land up. So, uh, what was the biggest fear when you signed the movie? There was no fear while signing the movie, but me, <laughs> this, is a, this is a small, on a funny note, uh, while we were making uh, Hanuman, <laughs> while we were in the making, Suddenly, Minan Muli was announced. <laughs> so, but we wanted to watch that film also. We loved that film. But uh, it is no way concerned with Minan Muli. This is another superhero film. This is another universe. Uh, there were not much difficulties. Yeah. Hi, sir. Yeah, hi. How was your working experience with Prashant, sir? This is my second film with Prashant, sir. He is he's considered to be one of the greatest creative directors back in Hyderabad. Uh, it's always a pleasure to work with somebody who has a very wide vision of things and about the film. So whenever we are working on sets also, uh, we just imagine until the scene. But uh, what is on Prashant Garu's mind, we can only see once we, uh, once the film is done. All the visuals that you are seeing also, we have pulled this in a shoestring budget. So uh, it was a very tight thing that we have achieved. This is not a very, very big film. This is not something made on uh, hundreds of crores of budget. But this is a very small film. We have put our blood and sweat. Prashant Garu has given his 100% for the film. I'm very happy working with him. And in future also, I'm sure we'll be collaborating again and again. Uh, my question is, yeah, uh, ma'am, it's like, uh, this, as I said, when the teaser came out itself, there was like a lot of discussion happening on uh, the quality of the VFX work that has been done. So what was that budget? I mean, also mentioned that you know, it's on a shoestring budget. So how was it and how difficult was it to pull up the whole thing? not really a shoestring budget when compared to other movies. We were saying in that like uh, there are so many movies like Triple R, Bahubali made in hundreds of crores. Uh, now even all these uh, high end movies coming from SLR uh, or any other movie we can take uh, now uh, Leo, Jaila, all these movies are made in hundreds of crores and uh, there were big casting. This is in terms of uh, what we would say is in terms of actors, in terms of the director present, whatever we were thinking, it is limited. It's not that we, we don't have hundreds of crores of budget, but it's not done in like 10, 20 years or so. So we, we, whatever the film needed, whatever the director needed, whatever the team needed, we were there. We did our full support. And we, uh, in fact, we initially started the full uh, Telugu feature film. Uh, when the initial talks were there, but later, once we believe in that content, the Hanuman is the uh, hero, God, uh, everyone's uh, courage, everyone's uh, confidence. He is there everywhere. So after seeing that, we wanted to bring it as a uh, this content should be uh, visible and it should be presentable to everyone throughout the world. It shouldn't be limited to a religion or region or something. Whatever the Indian uh, mythology says, whatever we believe in our Puranas, we wanted to make this as a bigger scale project. And uh, for that, I think Hanuman is our support. We could able to achieve this so far. And the tremendous response from all over the India and also America, other countries also, we received so much uh, unanimous support. There was no negativity. Everyone is so positive about the movie. We are happy for that. Whatever we are spending, that every penny was seen on the screen and today morning Telugu PR team and some other beloved persons have watched the movie, like the first copy is almost ready. Everybody was so excited, everybody was in tears, hugging each other. So it's, it's a kind of a movie 
the we feel that we are honored to do this kind of uh, movie and we would be able to present this this to everybody is because of Harman's grace. That's what uh, we strongly believe as a team. Thank you. So please, it's like most release time for the Hindu cinema at Sankranti and Pongal release. So how do you feel releasing a movie on a Sankranti? And you have opened Marsh Pauza area and you are getting a clash with him. So with Gunnar Brand. So how are you excited are you? I've said this in, um, uh, I've, I've spoke to a few of the Telugu media also. So there's this uh, thing in Telugu that I said, uh, uh, it's called Poti. Uh, uh, the competition is called Poti. So I said, I'm not Poti for uh, Guntur Karam. I am part of Guntur Karam. That means I'm alongside releasing the film. That is it. We are not any competition or anything. And over in the, back in Telugu also, I personally feel we are all collaborating and not competing with anybody. We are all collaborating with each other. Even Raddeja sir's film is also releasing on a, in the same period. But Raddeja Garu has dubbed for uh, a monkey character in uh, Hanuman. So that's going to be a very fun thing, but that's only for Telugu. So we didn't mention it over here. Raddeja Garu has dubbed in Telugu for a monkey character. So we are all collaborating over there. So there's nothing of that sort like uh, competition or anything. But I'm very, very uh, happy uh, to release the film for Sankranti because Sankranti, in our culture, uh, a lot of families move to the theatres and watch films. There are even families that only watch film for Sankranti the whole year. So this is the time where a large gathering of cr uh, crowds or audience we can cater our film to. That is our intention behind releasing the film for Sankranti. Uh, usually what happens is there uh, when we go film movies, High, um, high expectations. So, uh, how was it? How did you convince the board members? What are the talks going on? All, all credit goes to my producers, uh, Narendra Nadigaru. Uh, I'm not aware how he has convinced or anything, but I'm really happy that we have such a solid, uh, 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 such a solid production house backing us. Yeah, just push. Uh, you said you watched Minimum movie. How yeah. did you feel about the movie? I loved it. I loved. It. I watched all Malayalam films. After lockdown, you don't believe me, I st I've started watching Malayalam, recently I watched uh, uh, Kannur Squad. Uh, I wanted to watch this film of uh, Moonlal sir, ne Nehru, uh, yeah, that, that film I wanted to watch, but I've been promoting it since last one month, so once I get time, definitely I'll watch that film also. We are, not only me, all the Telugu audience have started following Malayalam cinema, even when you don't dub the film in Telugu also, we are watching it with the subtitles. Since there are so many movies released in theme of gold, uh, overloaded with the VFX effect, but seems Hanuman, uh, trailer of Hanuman is different. Uh, is any conscious effort to reduce the overload for the narrative significance? No, this is not a, uh, this is not an out and out god film, this is not a mythological film, this is a superhero film. As I told you earlier, this is about a, this is about a young boy getting powers with the blessings of Lord Hanuman. So it is about the boy. So it is not overloaded with the God element or anything. This will be a very entertaining film. It will be loaded with fun. It will be loaded with uh, songs and uh, superhero action episodes. So if you have liked uh, Manal Murli, definitely you will love Hanuman. Yeah. Uh, Manal, 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 this movie is like, uh, there is two versions of it. Like, there is a spiritual part as well as there is a scientific part. Right. You, you see that. So, how is that? How did you bring in that balance? Because the villain, you can see that you know, he's like he's wearing a suit and all. This is what I got from the trailer. Uh, that is like a scientific part of it. Then when it comes to Anman, it's like there's a spiritual part of it as well. So what is that balance that you plan and how did you keep it? Okay, if I say this answer, uh, don't think again it's going so <laughs> spiritual wise and we are believing in God and so much. Uh, wherever the science started, no one knows, just like God. So we believe science is equal or uh, God is more powerful. That's why he created elements like science and all other things so that we can, you know, learn more things and uh, we can live on it more, uh, uh, how would I say, we can live on it with more uh, thoughtful way. So obviously science doesn't know many answers. Science doesn't know how the sun rises at a certain level, exact things, we, we couldn't able to, you know, we don't have some answers, there is some kind of a force is there, it's running throughout the universe, that's what we believe. 
concerned. The movie also shows the same. Even though science has uh, reached so many, uh, so much uh, high level, we have so much intellectual things, everything. But there is some spiritual power that is more, uh, that uh, more than everything and anything. So that's how we presented the movie also. There is a small confusion regarding the title, not a confusion, uh, but it's like uh, Anuman when the name is in it, it uh, basically uh, it is related to a faith, right? So uh, how would it feel like, you know, how would people from other faiths, you know, how would they connect to the movie or, you know, how acceptable the movie would be for them? Have you put a thought into that? Uh, actually, initially when we announced the movie, it's Hanuman. Okay. It's a man with superpowers from Hanuman. But, uh, Fortunately, everybody is taking it as a Hanuman only. So, that we feel somehow happy and connected to it also. And we also believe that, as I said, we wanted, we started this movie as a very uh, small scale and low budget movie with, uh, believe, uh, belongs to one region, something like that. But uh, after seeing the comparisons and growth and like uh, the support from all the people, I don't think so now it's a religious thing anymore. Everybody needs that support, courage, confidence. So if we believe that uh, Hanuman is there, there will be some positivity. There is, there is no kind of a, a comment saying that it can't be happen, something like that. So maybe that's how it is happening. And uh, I hope everybody supports also. Definitely, there is full support from us. Okay, well, I think the questions are almost over. So it's like a thank you note. Would you like to say something to them or uh, begin this finish up? So, uh, Hanuman, will be, Hanuman will be releasing on Jan 12th all over India. So in Kerala, all of you, please watch the Malayalam version. We've put in a lot of effort to make it look like a real Malayalam film. So we've brought in the proper singers or the dubbing artists, everything has been done in a very good way. So please do watch the film only in theatres. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much both of you. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a huge hit and all the very best. And thank you so much each and every one. Thank you to all our media friends who are supporting us. Thank you brother. Thank you. Thanks all for coming here and uh, looking forward to coming back here again with another film. Thank you. All the best Thank you.